Today, House Democrats are going to select their new leaders. Nancy Pelosi will once again be elevated to minority leader, but not everyone's happy. The new old leadership is coming back for another term. Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, she's had such a strong hold on her caucus, probably the strongest of all of the Congress, Republicans or Democrats. But what you've started to see are some fissures where you have members of Congress, Marsha Fudge, for example, and others publicly starting to speak out against her for the first time. And it's interesting. This is you're seeing this on both sides of the Capitol last week. Harry Reid, for the first time ever, had dissenting votes when he was uh, put before the caucus uh, for his leadership race. Six people voted no. There was an effort to try to delay that election. There's real angst among Democrats that, you know, of elevating the same people after losing seats in the House and losing uh, the Senate. Absolutely. I mean, I think anytime you have losses, right, people are looking around and saying, all right, what are we going to do differently this time? How are we going to be you know, able to overcome this? And looking at 2016, I think one of the things that we are, is really unclear is how are they going to get Democratic donors to get excited about the DCCC of all things, right? If you have the president, if you have those kinds of things, that's where a lot of the big donors want to put their money, not necessarily house races. And it'll be interesting to see how long of a future Reid and Pelosi have on top of the caucus. Certainly, this next caucus Congress. They'll be there for two more years. What happens in 20 after the 2016 elections? What if they don't take back the Senate? What if they don't take back the House again? And what if they don't take the White House? What does this mean? Do they go out? Do Pelosi and Reid go out with Obama?